Your Cubot software allows you to make beautiful designs within the software and then take it to the Cubot on the SD card. It's very fast and easy and there are lots of functions that are available for you to do this. Let's go ahead and get a new page and start a new element. When I click next, I'm actually going to choose the size of my design. So I'm going to choose 5 by 5. That's the actual size of my finished design. Once I do this, I'm just going to take the film strip off because that way I can use the full screen, make it a little bit easier. There are many shapes that are available within the Cubot software. What you're going to see as I scroll down is that there are hearts, there are stars, there are all sorts of things. I'm actually going to go down to number 31 and this is a little tulip. When I click on this tulip and drag, I'm just making that design show up right in my work area. Once I choose that, I'm going to go to a, a function that's called multiply. When I click on multiply, I have options to reflect and to rotate. I'm going to rotate six different ways so you can see the lines and you can also see what just happened. I now have a wonderful way to show off my cubot. Simply rotate just a little bit and then I'm going to bring it back down. Now another thing with the cubot software is not only can you adjust and move your design, you can also edit the design. When I click on the part of the design, you can see I now have what are called nodes. I can drag and I can move and I can change what the design looks like simply by moving one of the nodes. I can do this until I get my design exactly the way I want it to be. So it's a lot of fun. You can do a lot of different things. Once I have that design, I'm simply going to click multiply again and set the design. I always enjoy going to the design player and seeing what my Cubot will actually stitch before I stitch it out. So here's the design I just created, and this is how the Cubot is going to stitch it out. Each element is stitched and it goes right around in a little circle here. Fun way to show off your design. Once I have the design made, I'm going to go up and actually save this design. I like to go to the Save As, and we're going to call this Tulip because it was made with one tulip as I started. So I'm going to click Save. And the reason why I wanted to save this design at this point is now I'm going to go into another great part of the Cubot software. It's called Cubot Vision. With the Cubot Vision, I'm going to click right on the Cubot Vision icon. And we're going to load a previously saved quilt. Notice that you can take a photograph or create an image of your own quilt to go into the Cubot software. Once I click Next, I'm going to just choose one of the quilts that was included. With this little cat quilt, I'm going to go ahead and open up that design. And here was my tulip. Now there are several different ways you can view your designs on the quilt. With our little quilt viewer, I'm going to fade my quilt background just a little bit so I can see my design a little bit better. Let's duplicate. And I'm going to place the design in every corner of this quilt. So one more time. Now one of the neat things about the vision program is it shows you which way you're rolling the quilt as you work with each design. So you can see I'm going to start here and roll my quilt that way. This is quite a small quilt so I won't have to turn the rotation. But I could if I needed to. I could come here and I could actually rotate my quilt if I needed to roll the quilt this way. Very easy. So now let's go ahead and zoom in. And once I zoom in, you can also see, when I bring the full background in, what my design will look like directly on the quilt. 
It's very, very interesting. Last but not least, many of us like to go ahead and print what it's going to look like. There are many different ways of printing. What I'm going to do, you can see right here, I've scaled to 25% so I can see the quilt right here. I can actually close out of this and set up the page such that instead of a scale design, I'm going to fit to page. That way I can see everything all at once. So let's go back to print preview. Here's my design page. I can see what, what my designs are going to look like. And then it tells me the width of the quilt itself. With your Cubot Vision, one of the neat things you can do is print out a full-size template. We have this lovely table runner over here, and with the table runner, what we did is we put a design that was very similar to what was in the fabric right in this area. If we wanted to see what a full-size template would look like, you actually can print that out exactly, and then you can see right here that it's going to, we taped it together, and then you can see exactly what the quilt is going to look like. The Cubot Designer and Cubot Vision really helps you make your quilts professional. Great way to use your Cubot and your Cubot software.